We're here in Atlantic City for round eight and nine for the 2017 Global Rallycross Championship. We came in on Saturday morning, uh, having done media rides on Friday. That was the only thing we'd done so far, so we had a small idea of the track, but didn't really know exactly what to expect. We knew there was going to be dirt on the back section and that it was going to be really, really slippery just because it was laid down on straight concrete. So we came back out on Saturday morning, did some practice. Connor and I both set down some really good practice times. Then we both went to qualify. I ended up qualifying third, and Connor unfortunately hit the wall uh, due to some sand on the outside of a corner and went into the wall, um, so that ended his qualifying really early and he qualified sixth. So between qualifying and practice it rained a lot uh, so it was a completely different track when we went out for the first heats. I had a really bad fogging issue on my window which I really we tried to get under control but just couldn't get under control. I went out there and by the time we were on the starting grid I had to have my spotter tell me when the lights went green because it was just so bad. Drove as well as I could but literally couldn't see anything so we ended up with a fourth place out of that. Connor didn't have the same fogging issue as I did and actually won his heat too which was really good for his positioning in the semifinal. Went into the semifinal knowing I had to get into one of the top four spots to go through to the final without going to the LCQ. We pulled that off, no fogging issues, uh, drove a really clean race. Raced with Alex the whole way and uh, had a really good race, really clean race, and came out with fourth, which is what we needed. Connor did really well in his semifinal, didn't have any fogging issues as well, and uh, came out with a second place. Connor was able to move up a position due to a penalty and started P1 in the final, which was a really good starting position. I ended up starting P7 due to my finishing position in the semifinal. I ran a really clean race until my steering went out on the third corner. So that was really difficult to run the race, rest of the race with, but we pulled out a fifth place finish. Connor ran his race really well, battled with Cyril the whole time. And they traded places back and forth and uh, eventually Cyril caught up to Connor and Connor ended up taking second, which is great for his points, but unfortunately Cyril finished in front of him. On Sunday, round nine, we uh, went out in the morning for practice and we had a good idea of what the track was since we raced on it the day before and we just worked on our car setup to see if we could get any more time out of the car and we were able to go actually half a second faster in practice. Obviously the track was more broken, the track was cleaner, it had more rubber on it and uh, the dirt section was a lot drier than on Saturday when it poured. Heat one of Sunday, me and James luckily were in two separate heats. I got second in my heat with Cyril winning and James got second in his heat as well. Going on to heat two, we had a really good start. We passed Colin Braun in turn three. Unfortunately, he was unhappy about that and pushed us off the track, which caused us to get passed by another person, but we were able to finish P3 and Colin had gotten excluded from that race. James' race didn't go as well. He had uh, some pretty big contact in turn one and unfortunately hurt his car and he finished fourth. Heading into the semifinal, I started P2 and James started right next to me in P3. Unfortunately, James jumped the start a little bit and he got a stop and go penalty and then his shifter broke. I had a pretty bad start too. I was in last, followed everybody for a couple of laps. I knew I was faster than them, so I just tried to stake an assistant and not make any bad mistakes. And I finally made up enough time to take the joker on the last lap and I just barely beat him to get P1. Heading into my final, we were three wide heading into the first turn and I was lucky enough not to go into the grass. Me and Cyril were side by side going into turn two and luckily it was a right hand turn so I had the inside line. He had to break and I got out front. I raced as hard as I could, consistent as I could and he was behind me the whole entire race and then my spotter was on the radio telling me that how much of a gap I had in between us and unfortunately Cyril had a fuel pump problem so he ran out of gas on the last couple of laps which is really good for us because we needed that to get ahead of him a little bit in the points lead. He's still leading by 68 points but hopefully in Seattle we can come out on top on both days and, and go into LA with a very small points lead or just behind him in the points lead.